Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2019 battle series. I hope you're all well, having a great day and it is Friday so we're ending up the week but it's extra special today because it does mean that we are finished with the Moon series and we will be moving into the Ultra series next week which will be very exciting. As I mentioned in our previous episodes this week there will be no episode on Monday because the battle spot is down for maintenance while the new rules get geared up, engineered for Tuesday when it's all kicking off. So we will have an episode Tuesday, but nothing Monday. But on replacement of our Daily Battle series on Monday, we're going to have Sword and Shield content, a new little mini series that I'm doing on the channel. It's going to be a lot of fun, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. But getting on to today's episode, getting back to the mini series ending and all that, and it's very sad, but exciting in the same way. So, just to lay out the line for you, explain the story for you guys. On Monday, I... I generally spam Twitter with today's episode is now up just so it's a little reminder for you guys catch new people tell them about the episodes that are going up so I put this up on Twitter as you can see on your screen right now so we're back with some more Mewtwo action in today's VGC 19 battle series as we enter the last week of the moon series we reach the PCA and then there's the link in there with them I need to think of have better tweets really don't I I promise I will, but getting back to the story, we had this little reply from Mr. Johnny Hacks, a good friend and patron of the channel, who said, okay, imagine this, Mewtwo and Ditto on the same team, okay. Ditto transforms into Xerneas and Mewtwo psychs up Ditto, eh? Eh? I know I'm a genius, right? And yes, Johnny, we will all admit you're a genius. And nice, <laughs> this is my reply, Friday's team sorted, let's do it. So there we go. Um, we'll get rid of that, Mr. Dr. Evil, and get rid of this. So what I've done is I've hashed something together for today's episode really quickly, but I think it will be a lot of fun to try out and work. So here is the team. Me Too is a favorite of the channel because we all know that. Everyone loves Me Too, I think. I hope, I, at least the yeah, majority of us do, and I definitely do. We had a lot of fun with it. So we've got Ditto, which we had a bad time with last week. So it's redemption time, Mr. Pink Blob. We've got the Mewtwo there with the Life Orb again, with Psych Up, though this time we've got the Xerneas because we obviously want to not just rely on, on Ditto. If we don't see an opposing Xerneas where we can copy and then Psych Up ourselves, then we've got our own Xerneas so we can kind of manipulate that a little bit better our way. Got a Tapu Lele in there for the Psychic Train just to allow and have that kind of Mewtwo core in the team anyway. Clefairy makes a lot of sense, redirection is quite important for a lot of things on this team to help them kind of set up, maneuver, do a lot of damage. We've put Hidden Power of Fire on the Tapu Lele and then we've tagged on another favourite of mine which is Weavile because it's got Throat Chop so we can stop things roaring us away. We've got Taunt on there so we can stop things taunting us, stop things shutting us down in general and stop opposing Xerneas setting up if we're in the tightest of situations although we want opposing Xerneas to set up if we can and uh, then Icicle Crash fake out as well it does conflict with the Psychic Train but ideally I'm not going to be leading out with Lele and Weavile at the same time and this team it doesn't make sense so you know I am the first to admit this this is just a bunch of Pokemon thrown together because of Johnny so Thank you, Johnny. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I think it's going to be a good one. As always, the team is in the description down below. If you want to try it out, test it out, have a bit of meme fun, I'm sure you will. Uh, let me know how you get on with it. Um, but we'll jump straight into this is, today's episode, if I can speak properly. And um, as always, though, guys, if you enjoy this sort of content, make sure to drop a like on the video. Make sure you do subscribe to the channel because we'll be starting our Ultra Series next week. Guides going up Monday, episodes back Tuesday. So we're going to look for our first opponent right now. If it takes a little bit longer than usual to find, we'll cut straight to it and come back with our first matchup of the episode. And we've got a first opponent of the episode. We've got Cena from Japan and we'll hop straight into Team Pro. What is this? Okay, we've got Giratina, we've got Ferrothorn, Oranguru, Yveltal, Incineroar, Tapu Lele. Right. Ha. Huh. Giratina and Yveltal is the restricted combination here. We've got Oranguru, it's going to have Trick Room for sure. The Trick Room element to the team supporting that Ferrothorn. To a certain extent, the Incineroar. Tapu Lele, probably going to be more of the speedier variant here. Um, Alright, what are we going to do? Um, hmm. 
Weavile's not bad here. Um, to help Zern set up. Because Zern can do a lot of damage to this team if we can can maneuver things in the right direction. Mewtwo is not bad as well. Uh, okay, so we'll go with Xerneas, we'll go with Weavile, we'll go with Mewtwo, and we'll go with Ditto as well, because we've got to bring the Ditto, haven't we? We have to bring the Ditto. That's the whole reason we've got the team. Hopefully we can make it work, and hopefully in our next match, then hopefully we face a Xerneas. I don't know how many times I said hopefully there, but you know, I'm very hopeful that in the next game, We'll be able to bump into Azernius and we'll be able to get this strategy going because that's the whole thing today. But if not, I mean, we'll have two great episodes. Well, two great matches in this one episode to send us off on our way in the Moon Series. So we'll lead off with Xerneas and Weavile. I can't obviously uh, utilize the uh, fake out support here. Um, and we do see that the Tapu Lele is scarfed, so, hmm. We could just dazzle and, uh, I mean, I kind of want to Geomancy here, though. That's the only thing. Um, could Geomancy. And it could Throat Chop the Giratina. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. I'll do that with Weavile. We're Sash with Weavile, so if the, the Lele wants to attack us there, I don't think they do. They want to go for the Psychic. Not Psyshock. Does some nice damage. Hopefully the Giratina isn't able to... Uh... Oh, you know what I'm thinking now? Is that we see Shadow Force from the Giratina. And then it's going to escape our, our dodge our attack this next turn. And then the following turn, it's going to be able to, to get rid of Xerneas. It's like the perfect counter. Oh, Icy Wind. Okay, that's not so bad. That's fine. That's fine, because we still outspeed the Lele this next turn. We'll be able to nuke that. We'll be able to get the Throw Chop. Hmm, we should still be able to outspeed the Giratina. Um, but we need to get the Lele. We need to Moonblast the Lele. And we totally need to... Yeah, we'll throw a chop again, the Giratina. We could have Icicle Crash, but there's every chance it misses. So we'll get the Lele for sure, I think. We should do. Hasn't been boosted, so it should be enough to take it down. Excellent, which it is. So, good day, Lele. Throw a chop probably won't be enough to get the Giratina unless it's a high roll. No, it's a low roll. No. Okay. Um, hmm. Omnius Wind. Okay, it's not doing too much damage. That's fine. I've never seen that ever before on Giratina. It does have the added bonus of boosts, though, doesn't it? Some boosts. Right. Um, hmm. Let's protect Xerneas' turn and get good old Mewtwo in. Do we get Mewtwo in? Yeah, let's try, because we need the Aurora Sphere to deal with that Ferrothorn. And then we can dazzle Aurora Sphere. Hopefully we get Mewtwo in. Safe and sound. We see Gyroball here into Mewtwo. Could be a little bit... Okay, Ferrothorn going to just retreat straight away, baiting us in. Eveltal going to hit the field. Uh, what are we going to see this... Giratina do though, that's the worrying thing. Oh, just an ominous wind again, that's fine, that's all right. We can just dazzle now and psych up because we worry about a potential sucker punch. Although the psychic terrain's up, so we don't need to worry about it too much. But a dazzling gleam should be enough to take down the Eveltal, unless it is a salt vest. There's a big part of me. That thinks in this team, it's probably not a salt vest. But the dazzle's enough. Oh, it probably is a salt vest, Giratina. Uh, Evelto. So we get the, the psych up onto the Xerneas, which is nice. And the psychic terrain is still up, so we can just go Moonblast, Aurora Sphere, and take game one with Psych Up Me too, which is excellent. And it means, because this one's pretty quick. Um, let's just be a little bit safer. 
we don't know what the roll's like on this dazzle. Let's go Moonblast. Let's go Aurora Sphere. Just seal this one up. And we're like, we're like, hardly any time in. So we're going to have maybe three games this episode. Which would be amazing if we can do that. So, Ferrothorn gone. Moonblast. Doing the trick. And very good game to our first opponent today. And good way for us to kick off, I guess. So, we'll get back into it. Oh, and they disconnect. Right at the death of the game. I mean... Where, where, there's no need for that. There's no need. Taking our glory away. But, I mean, we got to the end of the game. We knew the result. We knew. So, we'll hop into our next one. Again, if it takes a little bit longer to find an opponent, I will cut straight to where we bump into someone. And we've got our next opponent of the episode just like that. So here we go into it. If I can even find There we go. So we've got Xerneas. We've got a Xerneas. We've got a Xerneas. The everything is right in the world. So here we go. We've got Xerneas. We've got Groudon. We've got Bishop, Tornadus, Tapu Fini, and Serena. So we can do the ditto thing 100% here. Right. What are we going to do? So I think Mewtwo's... Mewtwo Lele is pretty good here. Um, we kind of deny the Tornado's Taunt. We deny the Sucker Punch from the Bishop. We can dazzle Aurora's Spirit. We can nuke the Xerneas if we want. We bring Ditto and I think we'll bring our own Xerneas as well. Just for extra Geomancy support. And we will await our opponent locking in and uh, see what they bring. Hmm. Bishop seems quite tempting if you're my opponent I feel against all these fairies and psychic types seems like a great matchup honestly but the, the psychic terrain does conflict with its ability to operate as well as you kind of want it to because especially with Mewtwo with the Aurora Sphere does deal with it a lot better than um, like not having it obviously but here we go see what my opponent leads off with Xerneas and Bishop this is fine this is all fine because we can dazzle and gleam we can Aurora Sphere Turn one. Get rid of the bishop. Turn two. We can switch in ditto on the Xerneas. We can get that 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 boost. Take a little bit of damage. Kick out the Xerneas and then go from there. So, like I say, what we'll do? Mm, dazzle, Aurora Sphere. Hopefully the bishop doesn't protect here. That would complicate things a little bit. Just a, just a tad, just a tad, but I'm confident. We see the bishop go for an iron head. Hopefully it does. Go on, bishop. Be tempted. Don't think about Aurora Sphere and Mewtwo. No, you aren't thinking about it. That's great. We get a bit of chip damage onto the Xerneas. A lot of chip damage onto the bishop. We get the Aurora Sphere. Can't suck a punch because of the psychic train. We deal with that pretty nicely. We'll see the Geomancy here. We probably have to sack Lele, that's the only little... That's the only downside to all this. We have to sack Lele, I think, because we need to switch the Mewtwo out, because that's the, that's the side that it's on. Um, but Lele, you did a good job. You dealt with the Bishop, which was the, the kind of the main thing that we needed to, to deal with. Okay. Let's see what comes with Groudon. Hmm. Now this could be a bit more trickier. Because if we see a precipice blades here, it does make things a little bit more awkward. We'll dazzle and gleam again. Um, and we will we will ditto in for for Xerneas. Come on, we need to make this work. Please let this work. Please come on. Come on. Okay, ditto. Here we go, my boy. There we go, the imposter into Xerneas. Get that fairy aura going. Get the Moonblast, where are you going? Don't go into Mewtwo. It's into Lele. Okay. Oh, we survive! Lele, it's a plus two. Are you crazy? Lele, voids, voids, yes. This is so bad, it feels so bad for my opponent. Okay, that's fine. They didn't want to target the Xerneas. I can't believe Lele actually survived that. That's insane. Right, um, Lele, we're gonna go Dazzling Gleam. 
Um, and I think we go Moonblast into the Groudon. We don't care about the Xerneas. You, you attack into our Xerneas all you like. Because you will get red carded. Red card! So we win the speed time. We just do that. Moonblast, Groudon, get rid of it. Okay, come on. Dazzling Gleam, please. Come on, Dazzling Gleam. Moonblast. Into us. Perfect. Perfect. We get the special attack drop, it's fine though. Red card, bye bye. Okay. Serena, hmm. Dazzling Gleam, single target. We can just double Dazzling Gleam. We're not going to be able to, we don't even need the Mewtwo here. Ditto, Ditto is going to win this one for us. Can you believe it? Okay, this is, this is alright. <laughs> We get pretty lucky. I mean, miss, the, the Precipice Blades miss is pretty big. Um, okay. I mean, Double Dazzle. There's not really... I mean, yeah, the Serena can't even faint because of the Psychic Terrain. So, um, yeah, we're going to be able to just close this one up. Tapu Lele Ditto. We're having a way better time now with Ditto. In this... In this episode then ah oh, we've got another forfeit come on is this what this re this team is reducing people to i mean it can't be too much he did miss two precipice blades i know how i'd feel you know how i would feel <laughs> you know how i feel when this happens so but i never i never turn it off i never turn it off i feel like turn it off do. Never mind. Never mind. It does mean that we get into our next game a bit quicker, but again, like always, if it does take a little bit longer to find our next opponent, we'll just cut to it and we'll get into it. And we have our next opponent of the episode. It's Keddy from Spain and playing a team of. I don't see Xerneas, but it's it's all alright. We see Celesteela, Tapu Koko, Tapu Lele, Hydreigon, Kyogre and Mewtwo. So we got a Mewtwo versus Mewtwo matchup in this one. Um, mm, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? I do feel like we could... Hmm. Could we use Clefairy here? To Xerneas up. No, because of the Kyogre. That's the problem. Although, do we see the Kyogre lead? Hmm. That's the other thing. No, I think what we'll do, we'll Clefairy, we'll Xerneas, we'll Ditto, and we'll Mewtwo. And we'll go all in. All in. And actually get to the right screen in the end. Good luck, Keddy. I don't know if this one's going to work out. In my head, as long as the Kyogre doesn't lead, we can get the Follow Me Geomancy up, and then we can get the Mewtwo, and we can maneuver ourselves into a position where we can get the Psych up Geomancy off. The Celesteela complicates things quite a bit, especially if we give it a free Beast Boost, which we kind of don't want to do. But, hmm. still be all alright I think um, because you can follow me we definitely go down to a heavy slam um, let's Geomancy because sacrificing Clefairy to get Mewtwo in it's not going to be the worst thing in the world there's a taunt, that's fine that is so fine that is so fine so We'll get the Geomancy. Hmm. Let's see. Want the Celesteela Heavy Slam? Might not as well, because Heavy Slam's not the best attack against Xerneas, because Xerneas is so heavy itself. <laughs> Leech Seed, that makes a lot more sense. Yeah. But we're kind of free to go follow me. Dazzle, dazzle, razzle, dazzle. Oh, but we can't because we taunted. 
course. Um, one thing we could do is bring in Mewtwo for Clefairy. And we could just... Uh, do we get rid of the Coco now? Dazzling Gleam. She said, I don't want to get Leech Seeded on Xerneas. That's the one thing. So, And I feel like you would probably Leech Seed the Xerneas right now. Especially with the Clefairy being taunted and all. And no follow me access. So let's do this. Let's protect Xerneas. Let's get this psych up going. Let's see if we can do this. Volt switch. Into Zern. Leech Seed. Heavy Slam. Into Zern. Perfect. Okay. So. Let's psych up. The Xerneas. And let's... Dazzling Gleam, it should be enough to get the Coco, unless the Coco is sashed. That's the only thing that's crossing my mind right now. Coco sashed, has a good time. It's got taunt, it would make sense. So you can taunt and take an attack. But we should still be alright. Yeah, sash Coco. There we are. Where's this Volt Switch going? It's into Mewtwo. No, Mewtwo, don't, don't go down. I want you to go down. We need you to get the psych up. Well, you're gonna get it. It's just hopefully the Celestina. Oh, me too. <laughs> me too. Join the party, but the green one, the green one, the jealous one, the envy is seething from this me too. We do get the psych up though. Come on, what's Celestina gonna do? Need seed. Perfect. Oh, that's fine. Don't mind this at all because now we just moonblast Aurora Sphere. Oh, we could dazzle Aurora Sphere. Probably better off dazzling Aurora Sphere. Probably doesn't. Hmm, does a plus two Aurora Sphere get Celesteela? We'll find out right now. Because that's what we're going to go for. The dazzle should get the Mewtwo. Should do. I'm hoping. Okay, Mewtwo protecting, so we're just going to get this attack onto the Celesteela now. Let's see how much this does. Come on, this is life all boosted as well. Oh, I don't think the Dazzling Gleam's going to be enough, you know. I really don't. Is it? No! Oh, it's so close. So close. Not into Mewtwo. No! Mewtwo's not heavy enough. <laughs> Oh, and a beast boost. Special defense as well. Ah. Okay. Now we now we bring this right back. Throw back to 2017. And have our own little Celesteela War. It's warm up. We've got the beast boost. We're going to take that right off you. It's all good. Um, hmm. It's got wide guard, which we have to be very careful of. I'm going to leech seed the opposing Celesteela because I feel like wide guard could be something that comes out. And I'm going to moonblast the Mewtwo. We know it's not got the sash. I don't want to dazzle here and just be wide guarded, denied. That would be the worst. But can Celesteela be the one thing that pulls us back into this game? Possibly. But I think we've got to worry about... Is it Kyogre, the, the other? Oh, Celestia just protecting. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Mewtwo goes down now. But we can't risk Dazzling Gleaming. Even against the Coco. Just because of that. But I mean, one of the things we could probably do is Moonblast this next turn. Celestina's probably out of range from Moonblast though, isn't it? Right now. Coco coming back in. Yeah. Mm. We could Leech Seed. Hmm. Leech Seed Celestina. Moonblast Celestina. I think we take an attack from Coco with with says uh, and Coco might protect you. 
Moonblast, is it enough to get the Celesteela? I don't know if it is. It should be. It's not. Electroweb. Xerneas avoids, which is ideal. Celesteela doesn't, but that's fine. <sighs> we do kick the Coco out. So that's that's helpful. And we see the Tapulele is the last one. So Celesteela can definitely win this. We do get the Leech Seed off into the Celesteela. So if we if our Leech Seed goes first, Heavy Slam makes a lot of sense. To the Xerneas, how much is this gonna do? Wow. We lose Xerneas now. Man, that's not great. Hmm. It's all about Clefairy in Celesteela now. But we can double protect and get the Celesteela this next turn with Leech Seed damage, surely. Protect and protect. Whoa, this is going to be close. But I feel like Celesteela can do this. This is making the episode a lot longer. And a lot more interesting. Celesteela, like, I never really... It's still... Honestly thought, nah, it's not that great against Xerneas. Because even Geomancy'd up, it's still going to take far too much damage. And far too much damage from the other restricted Pokemon, but showing in this sort of game, it's not doing too bad. Uh, protect from the opposing Celesteela. Okay. I don't know why you protect on when you're leech seeded, because you you can potentially go down now. Hidden power. Okay. Hidden power fire. I, I would imagine. Yeah. The prob- uh, I don't think there is a problem actually. I think we just heavy slam the Lele. I feel like the Lele is scarfed. Hmm. No, we heavy slam the Celesteela. We go for- Follow me. We get another beast boost. Hopefully we win the speed tie. Look at this Clefairy. It's like, rah. Follow me, pull in that hidden power fire. Yep. And hopefully, come on. Ah, Poison Celesteela. Now I'm gonna lose Clefairy. Hmm. Ah, oh, we should have targeted the Lele. We should have targeted the Lele, but it's fine. Because I think maybe we can still, maybe we can still win. Maybe. It's going to be so close though. We've got to take a Thunderbolt and a Hidden Power Fire. Can we do that? I don't know. Without, without the, the, if we had leftovers, I think we could have done it. But we've got to, we've got a heavy slam, the Coco. It's a shame we, we lost the speed tie there. It really is. Like we get the Celesteela before. Coco protecting, okay, smart, smarts. Let's see what this fire does. Mm, oh, it does too much, too much damage, too much damage. Yeah, we can't, we can't win this now. And the Lele would have been the obvious target there, but I'm more worried about the, the Coco going um, Thunderbolt. We nearly got the Mewtwo going. There's a Taunt, okay. So we, oh, we should have went for it again. Okay, Hidden Power. Can we take one more of the, oh, we a Beast Boost here. We maybe take, with a plus three, we maybe take one more Hidden Power Fire. So, it might not be over. 
Do we take it? Do we actually, can Ditto come through in this game and allow us to win this? Ditto is ever a time to do this. It's right now. The end of the Moon series. The very last move in the Moon series. Can you do this? Come on. Let's do it, Ditto. For all the viewers. Yes, we can do it. <laughs> oh my god. That's insane. Can we take the Lele down? We do. <laughs> What a way to end. What a way to end. I could not ask for anything better. Honestly, I couldn't have. Great game to my opponent. What a way for us to end. Ditto coming through. Reversing. Flipping the tables from last week where we left it and thought, oh, I can never play Ditto. But we've done it. We've done it, guys. We've had some incredible games today. And I hope you've enjoyed it. It feels like it's a nice way for us to, to leave the Moon series and then go into next week with the Ultra series. So I hope you've enjoyed it, guys. Thank you so much for all the support through the Moon series. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you continue to enjoy this Daily Battle series going into the Ultra series. Obviously, the last couple of weeks here have been a lot more fun but we'll be getting back into the serious stuff going into next week we'll be kicking off on tuesday remember there's no episode on monday so we'll have that little special sword and shield episode that we'll be doing in our mini series starting then so i hope you enjoy that thanks for tuning in have a great weekend and i will see you all very soon so until the next time guys take care and bye bye